Hey everybody! It may look like I am starting off in the middle of a pour, and I kind of am. Um, <clears throat> I just uh, started to do my pour, and you can see I um, when I went to pour the white, it didn't look right. I had just mixed it up in a cup. Um, and it didn't look right. It looked kind of watery. And then I poured it on here. And um, it was so watery. You could see it looked like milk. And then you could see like water, pure water spots. It was really weird. Um, so I turned off the video so that I could go mix up some more. And <clears throat> my initial plan was a flip cup which I would then keep adding white to so I could get the lines that I oftentimes like. But while I was mixing the white, another idea occurred to me. So I'm going to go with that one. Um, so first I'll tell you, the paints are, and I'd already mixed this up, Artist Loft Light Magenta, Liquitex Basic Primer Yellow, Windsor & Newton Vermilion, and then Grumbacher Turquoise. Um, the Turquoise does have some iridescent medium. All of my paints are mixed with Floetrol and water. And my white paint is uh, Dutch Boy, also mixed with Floetrol and water. And also when I was pouring the paint, I, or pouring the water, I poured some down my shirt, so that's kind of icky. Alrighty. So, my new idea is, you know, I've done lots of dirty pours where I'll have white and then color and white and stuff, but I'm going to, but I've never done a full on, uh, like pre-mixed cup. So I'm going to sandwich this in between white and see what happens. I am pouring on MDF which this is what it looks like before it's primed, which is like this. And then I prime it with gesso and sand it. Alrighty, so got my cup, got my white. I'm hoping it's not too thick. It is pretty thick, but I think it'll work. So I filled it halfway, approximately. I'm going to pour this in. Ooh, it sure looks pretty being poured in. And then while I'm pouring, I've gotten a couple um, comments lately about, I love your art, but you talk too much. And I'm unsubscribing because you talk too much. Um, so I'm just here to tell you that I'm not gonna not talk. Um, so you can mute me, or you can put me in fast forward, or you can stop watching. So just giving you some advice if, if you're unsure of what to do when something you see on a video bothers you. Those are the things you can do. So I'm just sharing that as a public service announcement. If anytime you see anything on TV or on YouTube you don't like, you can change the channel or turn it off. But just had to get that off my chest. Ooh, let's see. Kind of looks like marble. I don't want it to fall off. Yeah, my positive comments far outweigh the negative. But um, I started this channel because to share my love of painting. And through that, I've become, you know, fairly close with a lot of you. And so I like to talk. <laughs> you know, I talk to my friends. So, you know, that's that. Okay, so I... But I did remember to put my stuff back on a Lazy Susan because I got a comment 
today about how um, they want to see it more from, you know, how I'm looking at it so that they can understand more of the decisions of why I uh, move it certain ways or so I was doing that for a while and then I guess I've forgotten so see that see those are helpful comments to me <laughs> telling me I talk too much that just makes me talk more <laughs> that just gives me something else to talk about so you know kind of defeats the purpose so, so far I am super liking this. Looks like cucumbers. I don't know, it's making me think of cucumbers. Trying to get it to go off the edge without tilting too much. So I kind of do the, the finger where I touch it and that kind of makes it pop off. I may I'm just pouring more in here. Just to try not to have to tilt all the good stuff off. See when I talked about doing the lines that I like, that's what I mean. See how it got those nice that nice look after just using the paint from the flip cup. So yeah, I put on more than I needed, but this way I can gently tip it and not have to worry um, that all the good stuff's gonna get tipped off. This is kind of a fun pour. I mean, the colors are so soft. They're, they're you know, it's not, it does not look like a painting of mine, but, um, oh my gosh, it's really heavy. I must have like a pound of paint on here. Yeah, I got quite a bit of paint. Not really sure how that's gonna, I'm gonna have to get some of it off. Gosh, there's some weird spots here. I don't know what's up with my paint. Is this a hair? Oh my gosh. Can you guys see this right here? That is so weird. Totally looks like a hair. I was fully expecting to fish out a hair from that, which is gross. I know, I know. I do wear a hair nut when I resin though. <laughs> Taken from the cafeteria at work. This is like heavy, like I can, I can physically tell that there's too much paint on here just by lifting it. But with having so much paint on there, it's, very easy to uh, let it flow. I've seen videos where people pour and it looks like it would be really thick and they barely tilt any off and I always wonder about that. I haven't tipped this way yet. Look at these cells. They are ginormous. I'm 
trying to do it real slow because I don't want to disrupt the pattern. So it doesn't look like anything's coming off, but it is. <laughs> I just checked. <laughs> I just looked under because I'm like, gosh, why is it not? It is thick, but I don't have to worry. It's not a canvas, so I don't have to worry about it sagging. Um, the only thing is, I wouldn't think cracking. All right, let me get some paint off my hands so I can torch it. And just think for a second what colors I used to make this. I mean, I guess anything can will become pastel. See all of get this slow. Could be tilting off on its own. So a whole bunch of cells popped up. I kind of liked the softer look before. But this one's really interesting too. I like it. I really like the colors, it's just soft. So yeah, it was more um, like, yeah, I guess watercolory before I torched. I knew some would pop up, but I did not think this many would. Um, I mean, there was, there's almost no silicone in this at all. So, <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and please subscribe and like, and I will catch you all next time. Bye.